About one fifth of the um, council area was burnt during the 2019-2020 wildfires. So a lot of biodiversity was heavily impacted and erosion's been an issue. Yeah, extensive damage, especially where we're standing here around the, the Neriga district. We had a lot of trucks and bulldozers and so on on our place. Because we've got containment lines, we're quite aware that we might get weeds coming in that we hadn't had in the past. So after a little while, we started seeing some greening up. So things like tree ferns, which were absolutely spectacular. A whole lot of native colonising species as well as the inevitable weeds. We've been really aware of the changes that have happened out on our property. we we'll be able to see as it regenerates and get an idea of what species are coming back. Even uh, rehabilitation works of plenty of trees, new fences, just keep monitoring those areas for any new species that may turn up. I can see the pros and cons of weeds. They actually create little microclimates for um, native species that depend on seeding the establishment to regenerate. So I'd always urge a little bit of caution when, when dealing with weeds post fire. Council is the local control authority under the Biosecurity Act. So we've been undertaking control programs, inspecting land, and assessing those risks and educating landowners. I think my biggest challenge in, uh, in regards to weeds is actually identifying them. There's a lot of information on the council website that uh, you can look at, so I've been trying to identify weeds that we can find on our property and the, uh, the risks that they can pose. We're interested in common widespread weeds where they're having a significant impact on the environment, the community and the economy. But we also have these higher priority weeds, those weeds that don't exist in our council area or very limited numbers. Weeds like Parthenium weed can be quite devastating, it can come in with fodder. Other weeds like fireweed, we do get little incursions of that coming from the coastal areas. It is vitally important that neighbours and the general community work with the council to, to combat the weeds because uh, this can only benefit us all in the long term. So get to know what's on your land. If you're not sure of whether a plant's a weed or not, get some expert advice. We realise that weed control isn't easy, but don't give up. Learn how to prioritise and finally be vigilant. I guess the ultimate goal is to promote the native wildlife and fauna, not just for us, but also future generations as well. <laughs>